What's up guys, welcome to JS Racing. My name is Jason and this video is going to be all about porting. Now this is the uh, new head that we'll be using for the prototype engine and this is the previous one. Okay, well not the previous one, this is a stock version. Okay, so you can tell the intake and the exhaust for the new one is a lot bigger, but uh, we still need to do some work polishing the uh, channels and all that. Uh, the reason being, now there are a lot of uh, material and tutorials video out there about porting, but I'm going to summarize it here for you guys, okay? So uh, the reason why we're doing porting obviously is to gain horsepower through smoothening all of the channels. Now the principle behind that is that when uh, these things are cast, like these engines when they're designed, they're designed to be like operating at, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000 RPM, that's it. But when you're pushing it to like 7,000 or 8,000 RPM, okay, things need to be a bit more precise. So these channels, when they're cast, okay, they're not very like, um, they don't care too much about making sure that everything is nice and smooth. So there are some rough edges within these channels, which can cause turbulence when air or exhaust travels through these uh, channels. So the idea is basically to just smooth it all out okay never take away more material than you need to because it will affect the actual uh you can say they, they say that it's like the the speed the velocity of the air traveling through so you're basically ruining the venturi effect in in a way by taking too much material out of these uh, channels because these channels are designed to uh, a certain diameter to ensure that it operates properly so what we're just going to be doing is smoothening uh, the services okay you don't need to smooth the uh, intake to a mirror finish because uh, it is believed that the um, micro abrasions is better at atomizing the uh, fuel that travels through. So uh, you don't need to do mirror finish on the intake, but you can sort of do mirror finish on the exhaust side so that you know you don't have like a carbon buildup and gunk caught onto the surface or something like that. But anyway, uh, today is just going to be all about polishing this block, and also we need to mate the valves to the valve seats because uh, these are aftermarket valves. So we need to mate them together just to make sure that it sits right and has a good seal. So yeah, basically that's what we'll be doing today. So let's get started. So this is the uh, exhaust port, that's the intake port. Okay, so what we're trying to do is just, I don't know if you can see it here, but like this edge here, it's, it's a bit rough, okay? So we just need to smooth in that part. And the valve seat, if there's a bit of a step here, okay, we'll smoothen that out too. And for the exhaust, same thing. It's just uh, smoothening this lip here so that it's uh, not going to, you know, cause too much uh, turbulence. But uh, anyway, it should be an easy job. <laughs> Now this task itself is not particularly difficult. It's more just, you know, you have to be very careful so that you don't take out too much material. Uh, anyway, uh, it's better to have like a much longer sort of reach. So I'm gonna try and make sure that it's a longer reach. Yeah, do it like that. So, so it's just polishing so that it doesn't have like a step in between. <laughs> Just, I think using your finger to tell if it's like a smooth transition is very important. Yeah, that's good. So, uh... That's just smoothing out the, uh... The sharp edges. There's still a step here. As long as you don't damage the valve seat, it's okay. Like here, you know, you don't want to damage this. Otherwise, you're going to be having a lot of problem with uh, seal. There's a bit more step left here. I have to... All right, it feels very smooth from this side. Now I'm just going to check. Yeah, everything feels very smooth. All right, so I've just gone a once over, and everything feels very smooth. I'm just going to smooth out the the lip of this as well, so that it's not jagged, okay? I might need to do some port matching, but it looks okay for now. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so that's basically the the major part of the job done. Now we just need to polish the surface of these ports and we should be good to go. Okay, so now let's do the valves. This is some grinding paste. Just gonna let's do it. You can hear that it's working very well. Like in the beginning it's very coarse, but now it's a lot more the sound is softer. But this is really not sticking to it very well. Okay, so let's see. You can see there's like a band. That's basically the mating service. So so that's matching, which is great. And next we need to uh, do the exhaust. After we do this, we definitely need to do like a leaking leakage test just to make sure that it doesn't leak. So as you can see, there's no band here. After we do the grinding, should be one. Yep, you can hear that it's not as loud anymore as when we put it in. Okay, let's check. There should be a band as well. There it is, the band. Okay, so valve matching is done. Wipe all that crap off. Don't want it polishing any further. So now we need to install everything. I'll just do the stock um, springs, and then we do a leakage test. It shouldn't leak, so it should be fine. Just need this. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and then I'll just do this by hand. Should be easy enough. Yep. Stock spring is easy to deal with. Is this pad? will yep, prevent the valve from moving. Yep. Okay, I'm going to install this. That's it. Okay, so the spring and all that is installed. Let's hope nothing leaks. Here's a moment of truth. If anything leaks, it'll come out of the uh, exhaust and intake port. See if anything drips from the exhaust port. I don't see anything. I don't see anything for now. I don't see any bubbles. Uh, I don't see anything. Well, actually, let me get a light. Uh oh, we have a bit of leakage with the exhaust port. So, need to polish it a bit more. Now, let's see. Intake. Intake, so far so good. So the exhaust side is leaking a little bit, so so let's redo. Okay, so let's see if that worked. It looks like it worked. Time to test out if the mating actually succeeded. It looks very polished on this side. It looks very nice, so... Um, Alright, so I've just adjusted the camera to face the exhaust. Moment of truth comes, see if it leaks. Looking pretty good, actually, because the previous leak was... It happened quite quickly, so... I don't know, it's looking pretty good to me. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it looks good. The seal is good. Yeah. Oh, damn. Look at that. There's a cut here. What the hell? Well, anyway, so, okay, so I'll take that as a success. All right, now that the head has gone through uh, porting, uh, we can now proceed to install the springs and the valves. Okay, which is these. So I look like this. Okay. 
So I'm looking at that. All right, those two springs were a bit hard to install. Definitely, uh, yeah, difficult. But now that it's uh, on, I can install the guide plates and everything else onto it. Wow, that was that was difficult. Anyway, so uh, yeah, guide plate. So I'm gonna install 1.3, 1 to 1.3 ratio rockers, so that it's gonna give the valves a lot more lift. And we do. Now these look like stock, but they are in fact uh, 1.3 ratio rockers. So. Yeah, they're just going to be installed just like regular stock rockers, which is great. Um, the uh, aluminium, the billet ones, uh, I think it's called a gauge. Those ones are just way too expensive, way beyond our budget and our intent to create something that is uh, sort of like for budget engines. So we're, we didn't go for that, which is with, with these. You know, they look like stock, they, but they're not. They're 1.3 ratio rockers. So, yeah. Anyway, so... That's it for the head. And then we'll assemble the rest of the engine in a separate video. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.